am today just filming giving you a heads up that we are expecting a delivery of the new uh, refurbished cluster for the F-350 as soon as I'll get it I will be installing it and showing you the video circuit board medics shipped overnight and we're just now unboxing the cluster These are the bulbs, by the way, that are pin bulbs. They're just a twist and then they pull out. Um, looks like they mar made some markings on here. This is actually, if you wanted to ever change a cluster lights, this is where you pull the lights out and then either put in new LED bulbs or uh, just put these little, they're kind of like condom looking things over here. Bulbs to change the color. That was nice that they put this nice thing wrap on. So this is my original cluster that was sent out to Circuit Board Medics. Uh, they repaired it and cleaned it up, and then I'm going to reinstall it a little bit later today and just kind of test everything out. Champ back again. We just got our cluster back in from Circuit Board Medic, so what we're doing right now is we're preparing the pulls. The dash is already loose, but i got to get it ready to pull all the way out so we can reinstall the cluster. So what we're going to do is put our key in. You want to make sure you're in, turning into the yawn position. You want to make sure your steering wheel is all the way down. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to set the e-brake here. It's already set. Step on your brake. And then we're going to pull this all the way down into the one position. That way we can get this. We'll just pull it all the way out. Pulls forward. Pulls out from your stereo unit. And it allows us to fit the cluster kind of back in here. So what we got with the cluster here is they cleaned it up at Circuit Board Manics and I'm sure the cluster is going to be good as soon as we plug it all in, but we're going to do a test. So we've got two plugs up top, uh, one here and one here. They're plug in and then there's a lever that you, uh, you push over to lock it in place. And then you have your, down here below is where your, um, your shifter shifter knob will go in there and just kind of tell you if you're in drive neutral or reverse or park or whatnot so that's the that's your third plug so there's three plugs there's four bolts that hold this in one right here one down here and basically in all four corners of the cluster so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and we'll continue from there with the test we're back and just finished installing the cluster as you can see, it's about 100 degrees out. I'm just dying inside here. So I'm excited that it's in and uh, fired up everything. Radio's working. I can imagine if I went over here and hit this window. Oh, yeah. So we are back in business. Oh, I can see how much gas I've got. Looks like I'm in. Oh, shoot. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to fire this thing up. This is the first fire up with the cluster back, but. With everything plugged in and in place, I'm gonna put that back into there. Just gonna release this brake. We're in park. Just gonna hold on to the brake, but first fire up. Alright, we haven't started the truck in about a week since we sent this out. We are sounding good. He goes on here. Let's see, make sure everything's good. Oh uh, yeah, so we got that going, yeah buddy, throttle feels good. Don't worry 
door ajar, doors open, doors closed, everything's working. And air conditioner, that bad boy kicking. So far so good, let's hit the lights, see if you see those turn on. Working off on everything's working now. Window down, window down, window down, window open. Oh, we're good. Everything's working. Gauges are working. Radio's working. Gauges, door open. Yeah, a little warmed up now. Man. Sounds good so far. Circuit board medics, thank you. Affordable guys, very fast turnaround. They say what they're gonna do and they do what they're gonna say. That's pretty awesome. Good stuff, guys. Thank you. I am back up and running.